You can see I'm using the GRS third hand to hold the piece. I'm just resting the color on a nice smooth charcoal block. Flex the join and place a piece of hard solder where the ring shank touches the collet, one on either side. Then we're going to use the same neutral flame that we use for everything. Slowly heat this up until the flux dries out. Once the flux dries out, then you can shift your solder using your solder pick. Circle the two. The flux will go clear. The solder will flow. Just like that. Quench, pickle, and have a look at your solder. So after you take the ring out of the pickle and inspect your solder, it should have a nice join everywhere. No gaps. Now drop your stone in and just have a look. Because if, if it's sitting so that the top is slightly proud, that's perfect. That's what we want. So tip the stone out now and we'll cut our prongs. We're going to make this a four prong setting and use your texture and two of the prongs are going to be in line with the ring shank and then the other two are going to be 90 degrees apart. Now our prongs are going to be, or the claws are going to be, where the texture mark is. So now we're going to saw down Use your fingernail to make sure that your saw blade stays where you want it. Now I'm, I'm going to saw down roughly even with the top of the ring shank. Then I'm going to do the other one. Now we're going to use our triangular file and open these up a little bit. Actually, I'm going to use a slotting file. I'm going to just start going in the opening with the triangular file. You can do both sides if you want. So you can see the V, and now I'm going to do the other one. So go right, go ahead and use your triangular file. Go right down to the bottom of your saw cut. And by doing that, it'll give us a narrow claw up on the top. Now we're just going to leave that for now and we're going to take our four millimeter round burr and we're going to go in just to the wide part of the burr. It won't take much because we were already close. Then we're going to take our stone setting burr, drop it in, 
and just barely turn it. Just make sure that it's straight up and down. And that gives you a little seat for your stone to set in. Now I'm going to take my barrette file and just tidy up these prongs. So I'm basically filing it into a, a modified point. Then we're going to thin the outside to about half of its thickness. And you notice I'm running it against my nail so that it doesn't get down on the rest of the ring. Now tidy this up a little bit with your uh, sanding disc. Uh, I'd, I'd use the Moore's sander. This is just a medium grade. Go in, don't touch your ring shank, just smooth out your setting a little bit. We're just going to take our file marks and file marks off the V's. Just to pretty it up a little bit. And then we'll polish it and then we'll set our stone and then we'll polish it again. And when you have your setting tidied up, put your stone table down on your bench plate. Push you're setting directly over the stone and if it's correct it'll hold itself in which that does and now you're ready to set it and basically you're just going to push you're just going to push these prongs over the girdle nice and simple I'm just going to use my bezel rocker for this I'm going to hold my finger on the stone just so it doesn't jump out. Do north, south, east, west. And then use your burnisher to continue rubbing it over the stone. So I've pushed my tabs over, prongs, and I'm just polishing it and hardening it with my burnisher. Then after I get that done, I'll polish the whole ring on the Tripoli wheel. And the Tripoli won't hurt the stone, it'll just tidy up these bits a little bit. So we want them nice and smooth. So there's our four claw setting. Now this is the other version. It's a tapered collet, but it's just set like a bezel. Uh, it's very adaptable. You could do it either way, but for this one we're doing the claw setting.